Hello YouTube, 87 Ricer here. So, I am actually just rinsing uh, knuckles. I'm rinsing knuckles off. Um, I have I have sanded down the red paint from the back fender and the front fender. So I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the sanded down metal look. It's not gonna be full metal exposed. I'm not gonna rust it out. Uh, the last red Honda Rebel I had, I actually rusted it out and I let it get nice and brown. I used salt and I used salt and um, what the hell else did I use? I used salt and peroxide and I sprayed it on the frame but at the same time I also did the tank. Uh, okay. So I sprayed the frame. I sprayed the uh, or I uh, on the last bike I sanded I sanded down my gas tank and the gas tank started rusting really bad and so hold on the, the, the gas tank started rusting really badly whenever I did the first time so on this one I'm not gonna sand down the gas tank to the bare metal and I'm not gonna let it rust out like that instead I'm just gonna sand it down I'm gonna keep it that metal uh, that metal and that primer uh, not finished look that's what I'm gonna do for it and I'm I'm just at first I thought about sanding it down and letting it rust out but because of the first bike I did that too it didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it so this time I'm just not gonna do that I don't have it in my heart to uh, to do the tank in that same style and I'm not really I'm not really using a lot of pressure with the gun. I'm just letting it spray a mist. And that's how I, because I sanded it down on the, on the rear fender and the front fender, it had a, it had a lot of that red, it had a lot of that red dust from down and so I'm not gonna I, I just took it here so I could rinse it so I could get that red dust off of the fenders I actually removed the whole fender off the bike I kept the churn signals and all that stuff I kept all of it together but I removed from here and uh, I popped off the, the shocks which dropped the frame and I pulled the I pulled the uh, wires underneath of the seat disconnected them which were on the brake light and the turn signals and of course the license plate light but after I disconnected those wires, I removed these two bolts and took the whole uh, I took the whole back fender off. 
and just started sanding it down. And now as far as this one it goes on the front fender, it used to be that I would actually take the front fender off and I would uh, sand it down. But in this instance, I just left the fender on it and I sanded it down with the fender still on it. So the, fen so the fender never came off because I used to just take a like a side clip and I would clip up in the end of this, I'd clip it, this metal piece, I would split it and I would pull this wire out and it would allow me to get the, um, the fender off. But I said, you know what, I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm gonna go lazy. <laughs> right now I have not sanded the, the gas tank to look like this. I haven't touched it. I may still do that yet. I removed the Rebel decal and when I did this, I, I thought this would look good like that and that on a tank. And the other side came off just fine, but it's got some scratches where I actually kind of dug into the paint. But it doesn't bother me that I, that I scratched it or anything. Um, I'm not as upset about that. It doesn't bother me. I just wanted to give it that rough, that rough look like I'm in the process of repainting it, but I'm not going to. I'm just taking the the metal, I'm taking the paint down to the metal so it looks like this on the gas tank. That's what I wanna go for. I don't want it to rust out. It was a mistake to rust out the last one I did. I really wish I didn't do that, but I did and it actually looked pretty cool, but then I thought, well, what if the, it actually, what if it rusts a hole into the tank or through the tank? So on the last one I did, I actually left the bottom half of the tank red. So it would not rust at the bottom. It would only rust along the tops of the of the tank around i kept most of the edges uh, I, I kept it red from like here down all natural red and the rest of it got rusted out i actually have a video of that bike in my playlist the honda rebel playlist it actually shows my old red bike when i started rusting it out and uh it was a 2007 i believe as well so I am gonna remove the crash bar even though I think it, even though I think it looks good on it I'm I'm thinking about removing it because I want to make it look I want to I want to give it that factory um, I know it's not a bobber, but I want to give it a, I want to give it that little creature comforts style. When you pick these bikes up, they're all nice and pretty with the Rebel decal, great paint, but they don't always come with saddlebags. They don't always come with your crash bars. You got to install that stuff later on. So I want to take it back to that exact style. I want to have, I don't know that I want to have the crash bar anymore, but I may just leave it on there just for the hell of it. I mean, it, I can put my feet up and ride when I want. So, I mean, it, it's got its benefits. But as far as this tank goes, like I said, I want to do that to the tank. I haven't decided that yet, but that's what I want to go for. So, if you think that I should do this kind of style, not get it down to the bare metal, but get it to look sanded up and roughed up. If you think I should do that with the tank, let me know in the comments. 
I'm 87 Ricer. Peace. Love y'all. Bye. Hello YouTube, 87 Ricer here. So, four minutes on the clock. So, I have just, I have just sanded down the I just sanded I just sanded down the tank on this bike. It looked pink because of all the dust that was on it. But I sanded it down. It looks great. It's got that spotty, it's got that spotty um, feel to it now. So, I wanted to give Knuckles a whole different, uh, I just wanted to do a different look on the bike, okay? So, when I picked up Knuckles, which my girls named this bike Knuckles, when I picked up Knuckles, you know, it had the saddlebags, it had the, the crash bar on it, and it had a windshield, but I just can't leave things alone. I want to make the bike my own. I want to do a style that you don't always see on certain well I just wanted to do a style that not everybody agrees with so I'm just rinsing this bike I'm not really not really going heavy at it I just rode it into town so it's still hot the motor is still hot so I'm just rinsing it like as if it's raining outside you know not hitting it hard just a nice wet bath. I think it turned out fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted it. It's exactly how I wanted it. And it it's not plain. It doesn't it's not the plain Jane factory. I mean it's the plain Jane factory color, but it's not it's not the pretty you know, apple red. It's not that, it's not that maroonish color anymore. It's actually buffed out. Looks like it's getting ready to get painted. And that's the style, that's the theme I'm gonna go with. I'm not gonna do any more as far as sanding goes on this bike. I'm not gonna sand it down anymore. I'm just gonna leave it that rough unfinished style in my mind this is a cool paint style people are gonna be attract people can see it they can look at a, a whole um, sea of bikes that look nice but they always find an ugly bike point being this bike's gonna stick out and I like it love y'all Peace, 87 Ricer. <laughs> Clock didn't even stop. I stopped. No, no, it ended. All right, so 87 Ricer out. Love y'all. Bye.